Our next driver that I'm going to be showing you today is going to be our Modbus driver. Uh, so before before starting before you start to uh, configure your Modbus um, uh, device using our BOS, is this highly recommended or is it even necessary for you to read the manual of the device? So I actually have a simple manual ready here. A, it's just a simple manual for a um, residential units uh, because uh, we will need all the ad the addresses that device is sending to our configuration. But then without the manual, we, we won't be able to know what the device is actually sending. So I'm just going to show you here. We're going to add a couple of uh, up a couple of devices, a couple of addresses, um, and show them how to import them and use them using our Modbus driver. So if I open the manual and see that, I, let's say I want to add this fan speed level. So I want to add this fan speed. For, of course, I need my manual to import this. I'm going to use, since this is a simple fan speed device, I'm going to go to Modbus, and I'm going to add a integer, and I'm going to name it fan speed. And so my integer uh, uh, opens up, and I, I can see that I have multiple uh, things that I can configure here. I can configure our slave address. So this is if I have multiple devices. Um, so the, the Modbus will send the correct values to each device. And of course, I need to enter my address of this uh, of this fan speed. As we can see here under registers, we can see that their address is 101. So I must link this correctly and say this is 101. Since this is a read and write uh, has a read and write value, we're gonna use our holding registers, which is already selected. And this is a fairly simple fan speed uh, address. We're gonna use our unsigned 16-bit. So this is basically everything you need to know when adding a simple register into Modbus. I'm going to add a couple more variables so you know exactly how this goes. Let's say I want to add a for fan speed for uh, fan speed for low speed, um, and I'm gonna add another integer and let's say fan low speed. And see that the address is 102. We change the address here, 102. And now we can see that this address has only a read value here. So we need to change our Modbus table from holding to input registers. And that is basically it, uh, how to control this fan speed, fan at low speed uh, address. As simple as that. Uh, it gets a little bit more complicated once we get to, let's say, temperatures. Uh, temperatures, of course, are very important using these kind of devices. And you can see that we have a temperature set point here. The address is 208. And we all know that the uh, temperatures are usually contain a decimal point. So in this case, the integer is not going to be a correct uh, device to use. So we're going to use our double here. And you're going to use a temp, you're going to name it temperature set point. And we go through the whole procedure. So let's say the, the address is 208 and it's only read. We just change the address to 208. And it's only reading, so we can change this to input. And we can change this data table to, say, sign 16 bit. Um, we need to take it uh, when using this uh, temperature set point, we need to take into consideration our scale factor. So if we go back to our scaling, we can then see that the scaling is one. Uh, and we we did we have the correct uh, setting here. The problem would be if the scaling factor would be, let's say, 10, and we would use one, and we would perhaps get a temperature of, let's say, uh, 25.5 degrees, and our scaling factor will be incorrect here. Uh, we would get a different value on our Modbus device, which would be, I don't know, 255, which is, of course, incorrect. So a scaling factor must be taken into consideration uh, when importing when, and using temperatures. I'm going to show you a fairly simple example um, and how to use our Modbus and how to uh, add it into your visualization, so we'll have an error message displaying if there's something wrong on, on our Modbus device. I'm going to simply add a an integer and call it errors, let's say. Errors. 
let's give this one a address and let's put it in an unsigned bid 16. So let's say that we get we have an 8-bit value and each and each of those bits is sending us a different error message. So in this case, we can use our task manager and go to our bit converter. In our bit converter, we import our errors. So we, we know um, which which value want to, we want to look at. And now we, if you go under values, here you'll be able to see all the bits that are uh, in that uh, errors in this error uh, address. I'm going to change this to set point. So let's say there's going to be the Modbus device is going to send us there's something wrong on bit uh, zero and I don't know two. We want this. We want to see this in our visualization. So in this case, I can simply drag and drop our bit converter here. Select our bit. Let's say bit zero and say. Uh, the text is going to be fan error. And now every time something is going to be wrong on the uh, on that address uh, of our uh, mode bus device, we're going to actually see here uh, displaying a fan error. Let's say we're also going to add a, let's say, bit 2 and this say temperature error. And I'm simply going to drag and drop our errors as well so i'm just gonna change them and we can see live results so here we can see we have our modbus modbus device uh running everything's working correctly and some and and then modbus will tell us there's something wrong on our on our on bit one and we can see on the top the fan error displays there's something wrong with the fans and here we have a simple and very fast uh way to display all this error that are going on um using your modbus uh, using that current modbus uh, device uh, even multiple even multiple uh, errors can be displayed as many as you want as long as you simply drag this converter into your visualization